What's up with y'all boys, man? Yeah, sir, we back. You can see by the title, I joined the dark side. I got this 6'9, big boy 6'9, and we finna get straight into it. Go! Now, as you can see, we went shooting guard with the bill. Now, you might be wondering, why you go shooting guard instead of point guard? You can make a 6'9 point guard. I don't know why, but being a 6'9 shooting guard just sound way harder to me in my head. Like, a 6'9 shooting guard, that's why. Paul George became one of my favorite players back in like 2015 because I was like, bro, like a 16, 69 shooting guard. Uh, I like that right there. I like that right there. Now, like I said, you want to go 69. I went 187 on the weight, and y'all going to see why I did that later. And I went seven foot one wingspan as well. Most 69s either got real small arms or they got super long arms. Nobody really made they 69 like mine. And I'm going to show y'all that right now. You see, I still get passing lanes. I still get blocks. Everything. Now, with my attributes, I'm just going to try to go over all the key attributes on this screen right now. As you can see, I got an 86 driving dunk. That allows me to get contact dunks and goal limitless takeoff. And y'all know how OP goal limitless takeoff is. Now, my shooting, I got an 89 three-pointer. That allows me to get gold Asian three so I can shoot off the dribble. And I and you see my ball handling. Now the one thing I don't like about this build is my pass accuracy. I wish I would have went 85, but I went 79 because you really don't need it no high. Like between 75 and 80, if you in the budget, like I've been saying. But yeah, I got an 87 ball handle, 75 speed with ball for the MJ dribble style to get the speed boost. Now the defense, you can't even sleep on the defense either on this build, as you can see right here. My my defense is 86, 80, 85. I get an 85 block on this build. A lot of people don't got that high of a block on these six nines, especially if they plan on running guard with it. They mainly put steel and uh, defensive, I mean perimeter defense. But yeah, um, the one thing I don't got is, is strength because I don't play to have strength and. Also, with my plus four badges, I put three on my shooting and one on my playmaking to get, you know, the extra badges. And another tip for if you're making a build, test the build and put on the badges that you think you're going to use. And if you don't have enough, you know, you can go back and edit it or you can use your plus four towards that. That's what I do on all my builds. I go test the build and I put the badges on it. And if I'm... If I don't have enough for a certain badge, I was like, okay, I'm gonna put this many badge points on this category so I can get this badge and so on and so forth. If I don't need this many badges in one, I take them off and try to put it in the other category so I can get more badges in that. So test your bills. You don't gotta play the game, just test the bill so you won't waste your money and won't waste your time on a bill and grind it up and then realize that you needed two more finishing badges to be able to get this badge or whatever you know what i'm saying so yeah that's another tip now we on to my actual build and where i met with it here go all my attributes right here i'm only a 93 overall but here go all the stats that i upgraded now i'm not quite finished maxing out the badges but i do have all the badges that i want on this build already so it's technically maxed out but here go my shooting badges this is what i'm running right here on my shooting uh, my shooting badges. Yeah, they go my shooting badge. All right, we on to the playmaking badges. Here go my playmaking badges. This is what I'm running on my playmaking badges. Yeah, we got my playmaking badges. Um, and yeah, my playmaking badges. My playmaking badges. So when you get to your playmaking badges, you will play make the badge. And then here go my defensive and rebounding badges that I'm running right now. As you can see, I got my de defensive badges that I'm running right now. And they my defensive badges that I'm running right now. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, I gotta show y'all my attributes. I gotta show y'all my attributes. <laughs> I realized that I was saying attributes. I meant animations. Here go my animations right here. Here go my animations right here. I don't know why I'm sitting on this so long. Paul. Now we on to the jump shot. I'm about to show y'all my jump shot. This is Kobe Bryant jump shot. To get Kobe Bryant base, you need an 88 three-pointer or 88 mid-range to get Kobe Bryant base. But here go a good jump shot right here for if you got over 88 three-pointer. I'm going to show y'all another one for if you don't, you can't obtain this jump shot. I got another one for y'all boys right here. Here go the jump shot if you got a low 80s three-point rating. If you got within the low 80s three-point rating, here goes a jump shot right here. Now you can tweak it around to make the three-pointer lower if you want more. You got to put it more towards LaMelo Ball's second release if you want to have the three-pointer lowered for your rating. You want to do this right here. And I hope you enjoyed the video. 
If you did, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, roll to 1K eventually. I don't know. But yeah, see y'all in the next one. Y'all stay safe.